Welcome back, summoners, to Potato Monsters League of Legends Top 5 Plays for another action-packed episode. At the end, we'll be announcing the 5 RP card winners from last episode, as well as going over the rules to enter for your chance to win one of 5 RP cards for this episode, so be sure to stay tuned. Thanks everyone for your patience, as we ironed out some low replay bugs that delayed this video, but without further ado, let's begin. At our number 5 play, we have X Riven on Aatrox with a huge 1v2 out play. He gets level 4 off of the last creep as the enemy top laner and jungler move in for a gank. Renekton lands his stun, which guarantees the Sonic Wave, but he fights back with his Q and gets Lee Sin so low, landing his E as his passive gets popped. A final creep auto attack finishes off Lee Sin as he revives and goes straight after the Gator with a massive creep wave warding the brush for safety. Renekton waits for his W to come up before turning around with a lot of fury, getting Aatrox so low, but he keeps his cool and uses the red buff to kite back until his Q comes back up and he can turn and finish him off with the knockup. Our number 4 play takes us to the bot lane with our homie CZ on Ezreal with a crazy close skirmish. In the beginning, we see the friendly Thresh move up and initiate the fight with the hook into a flay on both as Ezreal goes ham and gets in there, picking up the first kill. With Vision of Shin Zhao coming in, they decide to fight Braum, but he's too tanky and they pop heal and try to retreat. An excellent flay slows them down as they both flash away, but Red Team is just way too fast and catch up to Ezreal. At this point, Thresh could escape to the tower, but he leaves no man behind and turns around with the hook on Braum, buying time for Arcane Shift to come up and help him escape. Ezreal grabs the double buffs and then together they take down Braum in this close call 3 for nothing exchange. Coming in at our number 3 spot, we have an epic defense play from Googie on Amumu to single handedly win the game for his team. As his teammates push the enemy base to try and get through Rumble, we go back to see Amumu's base is under heavy attack. Thresh does his best to stall but ends up going down, and with one player AFK on red team, things are looking grim. As Lee Sin and Triss go in on Rumble, we see Amumu respond and head straight towards the Nexus Towers. He wastes no time and goes in with his Q into a huge ultimate on all four, instantly bursting down two players, followed by the enemy's AD carry. Left in a 1v1, he dukes it out with Pantheon and manages to come out on top. While that was all happening, his teammates kill Rumble, turning this into a nascent win for Red Team when all hope looked lost after Syndra disconnected at level 12. Scoring in at second place, we have Sepia Killer on LeBlanc with a clutch play in a crucial team fight. Right off the bat, we see Blue Team for the most part just got crushed near Baron after being caught out of position and now they're in full retreat. Vi goes down as she chains Yasuo and then Thresh goes in for the flash hook but she W's out and comes right back in with a Q auto ignite to finish him off while keeping distance from Draven. Annie flashes away from Rise, leaving them in a 2v4 but the cleanup is strong as they both push in. LeBlanc picks up the double from Yasuo and then moves in on Rise, bursting him down as well as the monkey with a chain double distortion Q for the instant and quad. Right after, she switches back and then ends up chasing down Draven for the pentakill, surviving with just a sliver of health. And for our number one pro play for this week, we have LW Dirty KO in vain with a great teamwork oriented play. Blue team is down about 6,500 gold, and when a fight breaks out in mid lane, Vayne rushes in to help. She backs out as Warwick goes for the ult, and then she moves back in and gets ulted, but the friendly Lee Sin goes into peel mode and kicks Warwick away as they back off towards the jungle. She flashes over, and then we see Ezreal and Warwick close the gap as she dodges the Q and then Blade of the Rune King heals and speeds her away. With the enemy team right on their trail, Lee Sin stays behind Vayne and blocks the Mystic Shot as they continue to run through their jungle but end up getting cut off from Viger and have to run towards the enemy base. They know they have to turn around at some point and then all of a sudden Ezreal EQs but Lee Sin blocks it and now they feel ready to turn. Lee Q's in as they deal massive damage to Ezreal, manage to bring him down but Vayne has barely any health left. She sidesteps the Zenith Blade as Condemned slams her into the wall and Summoner Heal goes off allowing them to finish off Leona after a crazy close escape. While that was going on, Vigar was picked off by the rest of Blue Team as well as Warwick, resulting in a 4 for 1 exchange. And for the bonus clip of the week, we have Brodius Fern 112 showing why Graves is the best mobility out of all the AD carries. If you're pretty fed, have Hurricane and Sick Mechanics, that is. As this plays on, the 5 winners of the last RP card giveaway will be on screen, and to those who won, you'll receive a message in your YouTube inbox with how to redeem the $10 RP card. I should be picking up a bunch of RP cards from the store this week coming up, so expect the message fairly soon, but not this weekend. Now moving on to this video, I'm giving away another 5 RP cards and the winners will be announced in the next episode. All you have to do to try and get your hands on one is to comment down below with what you would spend the RP on and don't forget to include your region. Thanks again everyone for bearing with us as we fixed up some of the recent low replay bugs and we do apologize for the wait on this video. Nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you back here next week as we unveil some huge changes coming to the channel that I've been really hyped up about and I know you'll love it. Hope to see you then.